These sober-blooded boys do not love me. Nor a man cannot make them laugh. And that's no marvel. They drink no wine. There's never none of these demure boys come to any proof for thin drink that so overcool their blood that they're generally fools and cowards, which some of us should be too, but for inflammation. A good sherry sack hath a twofold operation in it. It ascends me into the brain, and dries me there all the foolish and dull and cruddy vapors which environ it, makes it apprehensive, quick, forgetive, full of nimble, fiery, and delectable shapes which delivered o'er to the voice, the tongue, which is the birth, becomes excellent wit. The second property of your excellent chalice is the warming of the blood. <laughs> the chalice warms it and makes it coarse from the inwards to the parts extreme. It illumineth the face, which is a beacon, gives warning to all the rest of this little kingdom man to arm. And then the commoners muster me all to their captain, the heart who great and puffed up with this retinue, doth any deed of courage. This valor comes of Sheriff, and hereof comes it that Prince Harry is valiant. For the cold blood he did naturally inherit of his father. He hath like lean, sterile, and bare land manured, husbanded, and tilled with excellent endeavor of drinking good and good store of fertile Sheriff that he's become very hot and valiant. If I had a thousand sons, the first humane principle I would teach them should be this, to forswear thin potations and to addict themselves to sex.